Finally, medical representative Brenda Bean is calling for a comfy family gathering at her Greek cuisine pick. She says all the dishes are melt in your mouth delicious and you simply must try a bite of everything. But make sure you save room for dessert because Brenda guarantees you'll ooh and ah at their giant piece of baklava. It's in Pembroke Pines and it's called <laughs> Mrs. Greek Taverna. My name is Taylor Engelman and we're at Mizez Creek Taverna and I'm the manager here at the restaurant. We opened the restaurant in 2007 and the owner, his idea was to create a restaurant that was family friendly, that people could come in and eat very good affordable food, take kind of a step out of their busy day and sit down on a Friday night, Saturday night and be able to eat something that's again healthy, affordable and delicious. Mizez means small plates and the way that families and friends eat in Greece is a lot of small plates to share, to try a little bit of everything. So when family and friends come together, there's always tons of food on the table. The most popular dishes here at Mizez include shrimp saganaki, which is a shrimp baked in the oven with tomatoes and feta cheese on top. The grilled octopus is also extremely popular and that's grilled, finished with a little olive oil and vinegar. And then for meals, we have lamb chops and those are grilled, those are excellent. And then we also have flounder, which is a filet of fish baked in the oven with potatoes, tomatoes, spinach, a little ouzo. And then finally, one of the most popular dishes, if not the most popular dishes, is the moussaka, which is a typical dish that every mother, grandmother is making in Greece. And that's layers of eggplant, ground beef, potatoes, and bechamel on top. Mizez Greek Taverna is all about food that's cooked with love. And it's food that if we don't like it, if we're not going to enjoy it, we're not going to serve it. The whole idea is for you to come in and really enjoy the food that you're eating. So you went with a couple of girlfriends. Yes. Yeah. It's the only way to go so that you can share the meals. <laughs> so, okay. And that was the agreement when we went. We decided that we would go. We've all been there several times. Mm -hmm. And we got there and it was delightful. You know, it was very friendly. You go in, you see the fish counter, you see the family in the kitchen behind that. And we started with falafel. Uh -huh. That was the special appetizer for the night. It was excellent. Yeah. It was just nice and a little crusty on the outside. Uh -huh. And on the inside, it was just delicious and moist, but not wet, not dry, right. just perfect. Right, right, right. And then the hummus that went with it and some black olives. Lishand? I had the spanatoba. And it was just really good. Mm -hmm. It okay. was really good. Very flaky. Layers of pastry with spinach? Spinach. It was really good. Very good. Very flavorful. It mm -hmm. was large, a very big portion. For an entree, I had the shrimp dry roll. It was so good. Oh, shrimp mm. guido. I've never had a shrimp guido. Yeah. How was oh. that done? It was done the regular way, but just instead of having lamb or chicken or beef, I substituted shrimp. shrimp and oh, it was nice. really good. That sounds yummy, Craig. Well, I started with a sangria. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they actually made it there, the fruit, and it looked like a, a tall nice. glass, and it was spectacular. I was you very also had that? Yes, I sure did. It's almost like an appetizer, right? Yeah. With all yeah. that fruit in there. It could have yeah. been. Yeah. It, it could have been. Uh, Red, citrus, right? mm -hmm. yeah, citrus and apples, which uh -huh. was surprising to me. Well, I was very indecisive that night. I just came from a, a show in Pembroke Pines, and mm -hmm. I got there, and I was welcomed by the, the owners, and they, they were just so nice. And the server actually did all my recommendations for the night. So she recommended the sangria, which was great. Mm -hmm. And then I had the grilled octopus. And Ooh. it was greatly grilled, mildly seasoned, and it tasted amazing. And then she recommended the dinner special, which was a flounder with tomatoes and cheese and everything. And I'm not a big sauce type person, but the flavors were just incredible. The fish was made perfectly, and it was definitely a great choice. What else did you have? Because I know you had just started with your falafel and your hummus. Yes, so I had the gyro platter, mm -hmm. and I asked to have the pita on the side versus having the gyro lamb put on the pita. Instead of a sandwich. Um, yeah. Right. The lamb was just beautiful. Sometimes when you get lamb in places, it's a little dry. It mm -hmm. was just perfectly Is it shaved? Moist. It's shaved. And I had it with the green beans, with the tomatoes, and spice, some Greek spices. I don't even know what was in there, but it was delicious. I would have never thought of putting beans and tomatoes together like that. And my friends had moussaka and spanakopita. Mm. Moussaka is one of my favorite things. Did you oh. try their moussaka? Yes, I tried everything. So. so moussaka is kind of like a Greek lasagna. Okay. It has a thick bechamel. It has ground lamb, sometimes yes. beef. 
bechamel, potato, yeah, it puree. Oh, it was heavenly. All layered. So it's kind of like a lasagna would be, it, but yeah, even better. It looks better. like it, but so it's better. better. It's yeah. heavenly. It really is heavenly. All right, so who had baklava? I know you probably had baklava. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Yes. You had the baklava experience. Yes. So tell yes. me about it. It's authentic because on my trip to Greece, I had it, Ooh. and it was precisely just the way it was there. As big, though? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. yes. Yeah. Filled with all the flavors, filled with all the nuts, flaky, rich, mm -hmm. just decadent. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. You had Galacte Buruco? Yeah, I can't pronounce Ooh. it, but <laughs> again, it was a recommendation from my server, and I asked her about the cough. I've actually made it on the show. Did you really? It's delicious. It's like a custard. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a custard. I thought it was going to be more like a, like a flan type of thing, but it wasn't, and mm -hmm. it was very, very... It's almost very like pudding. Good. Yeah, it's like yeah. A pudding. Yeah, it's delicious. So was it like spicy? No, no, very mild. It's creamy, and... it's milky. Okay. Yeah. But I know that that doesn't sound good. It's just <laughs> rich and creamy and, okay. and very warm and inviting. It's kind of something like a grandma would give you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. When made properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to try yours. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> I think it's better. Okay. It was okay. I'm sure theirs is better. Yeah. So, Brenda, some of your experience, please. You want real, authentic, made from scratch Greek food. Uh, it's a great place to go. The service is fantastic. The food is melt in your mouth. Um, and you'll, you can't go wrong, no matter what you want. Lachin? It's become my staple. In fact, I went there yesterday. I love the environment. <laughs> it's attentive, and the food is divine. Perfect. Okay. It was a warm atmosphere from the minute you walked in the door. The food was terrific, and uh, they actually asked me when I was going to come back and be back in town, so I would highly recommend it. That's lovely. Well, spend a day in Greece when you visit Mrs. Greek Taverna, located 10040 Pines Boulevard in Pembroke Pines. Open daily for lunch and dinner reservations are accepted, and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $35.